ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय प्लीज बेयर विथ मी आई एम लिटिल टायर टुडे इत्थम सन इत्थम सनिश्चित पिता महो महान अगाध बोधो भवत पद 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 ध्रुव प्रभेदे यकुतो भय जना भीत स्वक्ष क्षपण से सतम इत्थम सनिश्चित पिता महो महान अगाध बोधो भवत पद ध्रुव प्रभेदे यकुतो भय जना भीत स्वक्ष क्षपण से सतम से इतम सनिश्चित बै डिसाइडिंग लाइक दैट प्रभुजी मेक द स्लाइड बिग प्रभुजी ओके श्योर श्योर प्रभुजी वन मिनिट ओके हाँ थैंक यू सो इतम सनिश्चित having decided like that so what has been decided decided what he decided that material appearance is futile the body and the assets relationships of the body are all temporary and they can last only till once in this lifetime only okay and there is no point in banking on temporary things so having decided such now hitham sanischitya पिता महो महान अगाध बोधो भवत पाद पद्म सो ध्रुव प्रपेदे अकुतो भय जना सो हू डिसेड लाइक दैट सो पिता महो महान सो मै ग्रेट मै ग्रैंड फादर हेज डिसेड लाइक दिस सो अगाध बोधो भवत पाद पद्म सो पाद पद्म ध्रुव प्रपेदे हि फॉर्मली टू शेल्टर ऑफ युअर लोटस फीट सो व्हाट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ दट लोटस फीट अकुतो भय सो इट विल अवॉर्ड अकुतः भय वेर इज फियर अकुतः मीन्स देर इज नो फियर भय मीन्स फियर अकुतो भय अकुतो भय मीन्स कंप्लीटली फ्रीड फ्रॉम भय मीन्स कुतः भय इट्स ए क्वेश्चन कुतः मीन्स वेर इज अकुतः सो देर इज नो फियर सो अकुतः भय जना भीत सो फ्रम जना मीन फ्रम ऑर्डिनरी पीपल एंड भीत बीइंग अफ्रेड स्वपक्ष क्षपण से सप्तम स्वपक्ष ऑफ युअर लॉर्डशिप हु किल्स द डीम ऑन युअर ओन सैड ऑन युअर ओन सैड and satama is the best and one more attribute uh, to prahlad maharaj is agada bodha 
Agada bodha. Agada means there is no, uh, the depth is not known. Agada bodha means who has received unlimited knowledge because of devotional service and team. So he's saying, my grandfather, who is the best of all men, Sattamaha, he is saying he and he ha, he is agada bodha. He has ga, gotten unlimited knowledge and was worshipable for everyone. And he was afraid of common men in this world. Janat uh, bhitaha. Janat bhitaha. He was afraid of common men and being fully convinced that bhavataha padabatmam dhruvam prapede being fully convinced that your lotus feet will award shelter from all fears uh, who uh, against the will of his father and demoniac, friend, demoniac uh, friends uh, he, who killed them all he took shelter of your lotus feet very firmly. So, Athaham apyat maripos tavantikam daivenanita prasabham tyajita sri idam kritantika idam, idam kritantantika varti jivitam yayadhruvam stabdham atirna vudhyate saying Atha aham api atmaripo stavantikam atmaripaha atmaripo means ribu means enemy the atmaripo is the traditional enemy of the family daivena netaha atha aham api even now I am also uh, uh, now I have also been forcibly brought under your lotus feet. Uh, uh, forcibly brought under your lotus feet and deprived of all my opulence. Daivena nita. Daivena means by providence, Nita have brought in Prasabham by force. What did happen by force? Tyajita Shri means my Shri, my opulence has all uh, been forcibly uh, uh, casted off. Means Tyajita means give up. Uh, so my opulence has, has been forcibly uh, taken away or gave up uh, by the will of providence. Uh, hmm? Because of the illusion create, created by temporary opulence, hmm, people in general hmm, uh, who live under the material conditions facing accidental death at every moment do not understand that this life is temporary. Only by providence I have been saved from that condition. So, he is saying, Atma Ripaha Tava Antikam. So, so, I have been forcibly uh, given shelter at your lotus feet. Forcibly. Prasabham. And with that prasabha, uh, also the I have been made to give up all my opulences. Uh, and antikam, I have been given, given the shelter at your lotus feet. Uh, Idam krita anta antika varti jivitam. Mm -hmm. Idam, this philosophy of life, uh, uh, krita anta antika varti. Uh, always uh, given the facility for death and jivitam. 
the duration of life by such material opulence so whatever life we are actually having now it is actually giving a, giving us death at every moment so we are actually dying at every moment so we being absorbed in such temporary illusory uh, happiness of life uh, we do not understand the real purpose of life so to save uh, such people the lord uh, giving showing special mercy on the uh, devotees who have actually uh, taken shelter of his lotus feet he makes the devotee give up the opulence forcibly so that he can come to his senses understand the real purpose of life and then consider spiritual life seriously bari maharaj is saying so prabhupada is saying here bari maharaj appreciated the actions of the supreme lord hmm? although the members of demonic family except prahlad and bali consider vishnu their eternal enemy so atma ripo is it is it right atma ripa means their eternal enemy their you know Mm. eternal enemy lord vishnu was not the enemy of the family but the best friend that is what, but these two are little different prahlad and bali they are thinking little differently so uh, other demons think that uh, they are like uh, avowed enemy uh, avowed enemies of the supreme lord but they consider the supreme lord is the greatest benefactor for them the prince this the principle of friendship has already been stated what is that the principle of, of friendship was yasyaham anugrahnami harishye tatanam sanaihi so the lord's special favor is that he will actually take away so here also it is said prasabham tyajita shri hmm? daivena neetah hmm. so actually everyone should fear the so called society friendship and love for which he works so hard day and night all day and night hmm. so janat bhitah every devotee in krishna consciousness should fear the common people like pralad maharaj did hmm. because such a common man is considered to be pramatta a mad man why he is chasing the below the beast hmm? such men they do not know that after a hard struggle for uh, life one must change his body hmm? so with no certainty of what kind of body he will receive the next hmm? those who are completely established in krishna conscious philosophy and who therefore understand the aim of life will never take to the activities of material dog race but if a sincere devotee somehow does fall down the lord corrects him and saves him from gliding down to the darkest region of hellish life the materialistic way of life is nothing but the repeated chewing of that has already been chewed puna puna charvita charvanana adanta gobhir visatam tamisram puna puna charvita charvanana although there is no such pro- no any profit in such life people are enamored of it because of uncontrolled senses नूनम प्रमत्त कुरुते विकर्म यद इंद्रिय प्रियतया आप्रुनोति बिकॉज़ ऑफ अनकंट्रोल्ड सेंसेस पीपल एंगेज इन सिनफुल एक्टिविटीज बाय व्हिच दे गेट अ बॉडी फुल ऑफ सफरिंग बलि महाराज अप्रिशिएटेड हाउ द लॉर्ड हैड सेव्ड हिम फ्रॉम सच अ बिविल्डर्ड लाइफ ऑफ इग्नोरेंस 
He therefore said that that his intelligence has been stunned. Stabda matir na budhate. He could not understand that the supreme Lord favors his devotee by forcibly stopping their materialistic activities. So, Bali Maharaj is saying, "Stabda matir na budhate." So, one who is a dumb fool, he cannot understand what actually the favor of the Lord is. He is saying. stabda stabda means dumb uh, stabda means immobile and hmm. obstinate obstinate stabda matihi or obstinate fool unintelligent uh, person so for an unintelligent person it does not doesn't uh, click how actually the supreme lord is favoring him by actually putting him in such a uh, sometimes in such a precarious condition wherein he is forced to take shelter of the supreme lord so bali maharaj is appreciating that and he is consider him he he is considering himself uh, uh, you know you know as a obstinate person not understanding the purpose of life श्रीसुक उवाच तस्तम भाष्य प्रह्लाद भगवत्प्रिय अजगाम श्रेष्ठ राकापतिर्वोत्थितौदेवस्वामी से तस्थम भाष्य वेन बलि महाराज इज describing like this or speaking like this praradah bhagavata bhagavat priya so it is what is pralada's introduction here praradah bhagavat priya so pralada is being described as dear to the supreme lord so every one of us of us want to dear to the supreme lord we are hankering for the uh, favor of the supreme lord we are hankering for uh, you know being dear to the supreme lord but uh, like we want to dear the supreme lord but the supreme lord is dear to means supreme lord is uh, Sorry, Prahlad Maharaj is most dear to the Supreme Lord here. It's the other way. Ajagama Kurusreshta. Uh, Kurusreshta is the best of the Kurus. It's here it is Parikshit Maharaj. So the Devas Swami is to telling to Parikshit Maharaj. Ajagama, Ajagama. He appeared there. Hmm. And what is the uh, upamana which is used here to describe him? राकापतिर इव उत्थितः he has arisen in the uh, scene as if the uh, moon has arisen in the darkness of night राकापतिर इव राकापति इज मून राकापतिर इव उत्थितः means he has arisen, arisen in the uh, in the scene as if the moon has arisen in the dark night to spread its effulgence tam indra sena swapita maham sriya virajamanam nalinayate kshanam pramsam tishangam varamanjanam anjanatvisham pralamba bahum subhagarshadam subhagarshabham aikshata he saying Bali Maharaj, when he saw his grandfather Pralad Maharaj, Tam Indra Sena, who is Indra Sena here? Pralad Maharaj. Why? Sorry, Bali Maharaj. Why? When he got the, uh, you know, the armies of Indra, so he has conquered over the heavenly planets. 
and he got the army of indra <laughs> tam indra sena so who possessed all the military force of indra swapitamah shriya hmm. so swapitamah means his own grandfather hmm. shriya shriya means present with all beautiful shriya virajaman so he has been uh, endowed with all beautiful appliances nalina ayata ekshana nalina means lotus flower his eyes are like uh, lotus flowers uh, and nalina ayata ekshana means mm, one minute yeah so his eyes were like broad like as petals of a lotus and what is the other characteristic of his pramsham pramsham he is a very beautiful body pramsham and uh, pramsham pishanga ambaram pishanga ambaram means yellow garments ambara means garment pishanga means yellow anjana twisham anjana twisham means ointment tinge like uh, colored so his body was like the kajal uh, body color of his body was like the kajal which we apply to the eyes pralamba bahum pralamba prakrishta rupena lamba means very long arms hmm. so one who has very long arms is considered to be beautiful pralamba bahum subhagarshabham subhagarshabham subhaga rishabham the best of all auspicious persons aikshata isa so who is on bali bali mara sa his grandfather who is very beautifully dressed in yellow garments with uh, wide uh, eyes like lotus petals and his body was uh, dark like the color of the ointment and uh, uh, he was uh, bestowed with uh, all beautiful features uh, and he actually saw him uh, and then what happened ಸಮರ್ಹಣಿಯ bound by the ropes of varuna pali maharaj sama arhanam na upajahara purvavat purvavat na upajaha jahara so he he could not respect him sama arhanam na upajahara purvavat like he used to do before he could not offer respect to pralad maharaj ನಾಮ ಮೂರ್ಧ ಅಶ್ರು ಬಿಲೋಲ ಲೋಚನ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿಡ್ ಹಿ ಡೂ ದೆನ್ ನಾಮ ಮೂರ್ಧ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ಒಬೇಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಅಶ್ರು ಬಿಲೋಲ ಲೋಚನ ಸೊ ಹಿಸ್ ಐಸ್ ವರ್ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಟಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಸ ಬ್ರೀಡ ನೀಚೀನ ಬ್ರೀಡ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಶೇಮ್ಡ್ ಸ ಬ್ರೀಡ ನೀಚೀನ he has hung his head down in shame mukha babhuvah mukha babhuvah so mukha means face babhuvah he has babhuvah means wicked babhuvah so he hung his head uh, which was inundated with tears uh, and he lowered his had in shame by saying pralad maharaj and he couldn't offer his obeisances and he hung his head uh, and then he offered obeisances to him with his head only 
So now the Acharya uh, say, why did actually Prahlad Maharaj, sorry, Bali Maharaj hung his head in shame? Uh, reason was, Bali Maharaj seriously felt that he was an offender to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, since Bali Maharaj has been uh, arrested by Vamana Deva, he was considered uh, certainly to be an offender. And then Prahlad Maharaj would not like it. So that therefore, he is thinking that he is, he is an offender and he is being punished by the Lord. And then he has to face his grandfather who is a pure devotee of the Lord. Uh, so therefore, he has lowered his head. Satatraha Sina Mudiksha Satpatim Harim Sunanda Dhanukai Rupasitam Upetya Bhuma Uzirasa Mahamana Nanama Mudna Pulakasu Viklavaha Satatraha Asinam Udiksha Satpatim Who is the Satpati here? Satvatam Pati is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Sa tatraha asinam. Saha tatraha tatraha asinam. Saha. Saha means here Prahlad Maharaj. Tatraha asinam satpatim harim uh, sunandadi anugai rupasitam. So Hari, uh, who is the Satvatapati, who is the uh, the uh, the goal of the or who is the pati the lord lord of the pure devotees he is sitting along with his associates headed by sunanda uh, and the, he is being worshipped by them hmm. and then that hari uh, is being seen by who pranad maharaj hmm. upetya bhuma so then what he did it? He immediately prostrated himself on the ground. Sirasa with his head. And then Sirasa Mahamana. And who is that Prahlad Maharaj? He is a Mahamana. He is great soul, great hearted person, great minded person. Mahamana. Mahamana he is a great devotee. Prabhupada translated as great devotee. What did he do? Nanama mudna upetya bhumo. Upetya bhumo means reaching nearby on the ground. Nanama. He offered his obeisances. Mudna. Ulaka ashru So two people are crying here. Bali Maharaj is also crying and Prahlad Maharaj is also crying. Tears of jubilation. Bali Maharaj is create and you know crying tears of you know griefs because he considered himself an offender and Prahlad Maharaj is uh, crying tears because he is actually very happy uh, to see the Lord. <laughs> Vayeva dattam padamaindra urjitam kritam tadeva dhyakathaiva sovanam manne mahanasya krito hyanugraho vibhram sito yachriya atma mohana. This is the classic of a devotee. So, what did he say? The first words, what is spoken? What is speaking? Vayeva dattam padam aindram urjitam. <laughs> So, he is saying, Tvayaiva Dattam. You have given him what? Padam Aindram. Indrapada. So, you have given this uh, Indrapada to Bali Maharaj. Urjitam. Urjitam means, which is very, very, very great. Then, Hrutam Tad Eva Adya. Again, you snatched it away today. And that is equally glorious. 
in the same way. Tatha eva shobhana. That it is actually very shobhana. Means shobhana means very beautiful. <laughs> Manye mahan asya kruto hi anugraho. So I consider it very great. Uh, asya. What is, what is of whom it is great? Asya. Of Bari Maharaj. Krutaha anugraha has been done by you. He anugraha. Your mercy. Vibhramsito yat shriya atmana. Atma mohanat. So why is it uh, uh, Vibhramsita? Be, being bereft of that Sri, that opulence, uh, why, why is it so favorable to him? Why is it so glorious that you have, your act of seizing away, taking away all the opulence is, it is Atma Mohanath. Uh, it actually uh, covers uh, it actually bewilders one's self. Uh, uh, that means it is uh, uh, covering the process of self-realization. So, because you have actually snatched away that opulence which has been uh, an impediment and it is bewildering uh, Bali Maharaj's consciousness of self-realization, so therefore I consider this act of uh, um, Taking away all the opulence, snatching away all the opulence uh, as equally glorious uh, as much as uh, awarding him the Indra Padavi which you have previously given to him. One thing to note here is uh, Prahlad Maharaj is saying that it is Vamana Deva, it is Vishnu who has actually given him that opulence. But we see if you go by the story it is Bali Maharaj who actually earned that by his endeavor. So, but Prahlad Maharaj's consciousness is different. Bali Maharaj earned the Indra Padavi by the, um, by the uh, assistance of his own spiritual master, Shukracharya. He did Vishwajit Yajna after he was being practically revived from dead, after the Samutra Mantana pastime was over, there was a great battle on the shore of the Milk Ocean and in, in which Bali Maharaj was practically killed. Uh, but Shukracharya revived him from death and he made him perform the Vishwajit Yajna because of which he actually gained the Indra Padati. But Prahlad Maharaj is telling the otherwise here. Bali Maharaj did not earn the Indra Padavi, but it is Vishnu who has awarded the Indra Padavi to Bali Maharaj. So, the Katrutva Bhava is not there in Prahlad Maharaj and he could understand things clearly that it is the Supreme Lord who is awarding anyone the opulence which one actually uh, is uh, uh, due for or even if someone is requesting something it is by supreme lord sanction only that even when anyone can get his opulence as krishna in bhagavad gita that uh, those who go to the demigods for uh, getting immediate material benefits the, those results are indirectly san sanctioned by the Supreme Lord in himself. So, Prahlad Maharaj is saying the same thing here. It is you who has given him the opulence. It is you who has taken away the opulence today. And you have been equally merciful in both ways by giving and taking away. Because this opulence is bewildering him, covering him his process of self-realization. So, again, that is the favor. The Lord must bestows mercy upon his devotee by helping him find out his constitutional position. This is what is the real favor. Atma Mohana. So, Vibhramsita. So, he actually is favoring 
by taking away that thing which is covering his self realization that is his special mercy yayahi vidwan api muhyate yathas tatko vichaste gati matmano yatha tasmay namaste jagadeeshwaraya vai narayana khila loka sakshine narayana ya khila loka sakshine saying yayahi vidwan api muhyate yatha mm -hmm. yaya by which means What is that which material happens? Yaya hi vidvan api muhyate yataha. Where the even the great learned person also get bewildered. Tatka tat kaha vichastate gatim. Tat tat means ah tat kaha vichastate gatim atmano yatha means. um that material opulence which is so bewildering even to the learned self control man uh forget to search for goal for self realization mm ah -hmm. uh, tat kah vichastate atmana gatim yatha mm -hmm. tasmai therefore namah te jagadeeshwaraya vai ah uh, नारायण अखिल अखिल गुरो अखिल लोक साक्षिण नारायणाय तस्म नारायणाय नारायण अखिल लोक साक्षिण बट द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड हु इज द लॉर्ड ऑफ द यूनिवर्स जगद ईश्वर ही कैन सी एवरीथिंग बाय हिज विल देर फॉर नम आई Uh, actually offer my obeisances unto him so this material opulence is so bewildering that even a learned man uh, and a self controlled man uh, forget to search for the goal of self realization tat kah vichastate so how can he progress on the path of spiritual life tat tat kah vichastate gatim atmanah yata so atmanah for the self uh, properly so the self realization is not possible in such a bewildered state so proper is saying ko vichastate gatim indicate that when one is puffed up by fa uh, false prestige uh, he certainly neglects the goal for self realization so that endeavor where is the endeavor Uh, for self realization that is not present so tasmai therefore uh, he will take away mm. the turbulence the lord will take away the turbulence practically no one is interested in god god or one's relationship with god or how one should act modern men have all together forgotten such questions because they are mad for material possessions if this civilized if this kind of civilization continues the time will soon come when the supreme personality of god it will take away all the material opulences then people will come to their senses nowadays we are so puffed up by our pursuits for material uh, uh, you know opulences and material uh, engagements that we can achieve anything through technology through our material means but uh, we also keep hearing every time and again that the lord the material nature is uh, bringing us uh, to our senses by taking away everything suddenly so many skyscrapers are built uh, and then one tsunami comes in few moments time everything is on the into the earth and um uh, um some tornado comes all the things are you know cast here and there torn apart and uh, we are so 
very proud of our advancement in medical and pharmaceutical things now one virus can wreck the whole hell out of the whole um, world hmm. all the people of the world so the lord in the form of time in the form of material nature keeps reminding us that we are not in control actually he is in control therefore better we understand what is the real purpose of life and uh, better we take up to the uh, process of devotional service seriously um, that is the intent here shri sukha vacha तस्यानुसृण्वतो तस्यानुसृण्वतो राजन प्रह्लादस्य कृतांजलेः हिरण्यगर्भो भगवान् उवाच मधुसूदनम् सेइंग तस्म तस्य अनुसृण्वतो राजन हां अनुसृण्वतः अनुसृण्वता मीन्स श्रुण्वता मीन्स हियरिंग अनुसृण्वता मीन्स in the reach of someone's hearing ha uh, who's hearing praharadasya mm. within the hearing of pralad maharaj hiranyagarbha bhagavan hiranyagarbha is brahma so lord brahma then began to speak to whom to the supreme lord bhagavan krutanjalehe with his folded hands Uh, uh, sorry uh, lord brahma began to speak to within the hearing of pralad maharaj who is uh, krutanjalehe with his uh, hands folded uvacha uh, madhusudanam and to the supreme personality of godhead who is known as madhusudanam baddham vikshapatim sadvi tat patni bhayave bala ranjale प्रणतोपेन्द्रम बभाषे अवान मुखी नृपा सो नौ सडनली समवन इंटरजेक्टेड हियर हु इज दट बलि महाराज चेस्ट वै पति पति साध्वी बद्धम वीक्ष्य एंड ही इज भय शी इज भय विहला तत्पत्नी तत् साध्वी पत्नी पतिम बद्धम वीक्ष्य भय विहला प्राजलि प्रणतोपेत ही शी फोलडेड हर हैंड्स एंड शी ऑफर्ड हर ओबेस प्रणत टू हूम उपेन्द्र ही इज वामन देवा अभाषे अवान मुखी शी बिगैन टू स्पीक Uh, uh, and uh, avan mukhi avan mukhi means uh, face uh, downward hmm. huh. so uh, balimara's chaste wife actually it was brahma's turn who was trying to speak but she suddenly interjected and she began speaking seeing her husband afraid and aggrieved uh, see, <coughs> seeing her husband bound in such a condition she was af- afraid and aggrieved lowered uh, uh, her face and she began to uh, speak after obeisance uh, offering obeisances to lord vamana deva shri vindyavali ruvacha kridartham atmana idam क्रीडात्मना इदम त्रिजगत ते स्वायं तो तत्र कुो पर ईश कुु कर्त प्रभोस्तव कि आवहती चक्त हृयस्वरोपित कर्तृवाद ओ मै लॉर्ड you have created the entire universe for the enjoyment your personal pastimes kreda kreda artham atmana kreda artham idat idam trijagat krutam te so you have created this universe uh, 
for your sport hmm. Hmm. but swayam tu tatra kudhiyo para isha kuryuhu but kudhiya means unintelligent un, uh, men they they what do they think but foolish unintelligent men have claimed proprietorship of this swayam tu tatra ha uh, para isha kuryuhu <coughs> they have claimed proprietorship of this world for material enjoyment and certainly they are shameless hmm ha uh, agnostics ha uh, falsely claim claiming proprietorship they think they can give charity and enjoy hmm kartru prabho kartu prabho ha uh, kim uh, tava kim asyata avahanti ha uh, tyakta hriya tat avaropit kartruvadah in such a condition what good uh, can they do for you who are independent creator maintainer and annihilator of the universe ha uh, prabho tava ha uh, and what are your activities ha uh, so your activities are creation maintenance and destruction of the universe they think that they actually can uh, give charity and enjoy why why do they think so because they think they claim proprietorship of the things which are actually yours so therefore they are uh, certainly shameless that's what she is saying in uh, in a, in a sense she is sarcastically pointing out his, at his uh, at her husband that my husband thinks that he is the lord of this universe and he can give charity ha uh, so he can give charity hmm. so prabhupada is writing a beautiful purport about uh, this uh, whole thing about why vidyavali has uh, talked like this he saying malimara's wife vidyavali who was most intelligent supported the arrest of her husband and accused him of having no intelligence why 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 he is accusing why she is accusing him of you know of having no intelligence because he gained proprietorship of the property of the lord hmm all everything in this universe actually belongs to the lord hmm uh, even the demigods who are officially appointed by the lord for management yeah, even though they are attached for material enjoyment they never claim to be proprietors of the universe but they know that the actual proprietor is the supreme lord himself but the demons instead of uh, accepting the exclusive proprietorship of the lord they claim claim proprietorship of for themselves uh, and then the claim the property of the universe uh, for themselves through demarcation and nationalism mm-hmm. so prabhupada is hinting at uh, today's leaders they say this part is mine and that is yours uh, uh, they may demark demarcate and these are all demonic conceptions ah uh, bhagavad gita says idam madhya maya laptam imam prapsya manoratham thus far i have acquired so much money and land now i have i have to add more and more ah uh, in this way i shall be greatest proprietor of everything who can compete with me so these are all made demonic conceptions so bali maharaj why she is accusing uh, bali maharaj of having such conception and she is saying that it is good that Uh, the lord has arrested him showing him extraordinary mercy mm. uh, and now after all this now bali maharaj is saying that now because uh, i can offer charity that means i am greater than the charity that means you can place your third step on me so who is greater than the charity so she is saying that although he lost everything she did not he did not come into his senses 
He is saying that you can put your foot still up on his head. He is actually not understanding the point. Uh, so, therefore, please forgive him. He doesn't understand only. Hmm. Uh, see, he is thinking that actually the body belongs to him, but he doesn't understand that body also does not belong to him. Actually, however, the body belongs to the Supreme Lord Himself. Iswara Sarva Bhutana Vridhyasya Chanatishtati Brahman Sarva Bhutana Yantra Rudhani Mahaya He is making all the living beings mobile by sitting in their heart and steering their every activity. So how can Bali Maharaj even claim proprietorship of his own body? How can he think that the body belongs to him? So he actually is very unintelligent. So she is say, saying that he is very unintelligent person. So please leave him. So, uh, so he, she is actually very intelligently putting her point that since my husband is very unintelligent, so please uh, show mercy upon him and leave him, uh, excuse him. So that's what uh, she meant. Uh, Sri Brahma Uvacha Bhuta Bhavana Bhutesha Deva Deva Jagan Maya Munchainam Hrita Sarvaswam Nayam Arhati Nigraham Now Brahmaji got his turn to speak. He is saying uh, Bhuta Bhavana Bhutesha uh, Bhuta Bhavana means Who is the? Bhavana means well-wisher. Bhuta Bhavana. Well-wisher of all living entities. And Bhuta Isha is the lord of all living uh, entities. Deva Deva is the head of all the demigods. He is worshipable Deva, god of all gods. Jagan Maya. Jagan, Jagan Maya. Uh, Jagan Maya means all pervading. One. Muncha. Please release him. Enam. Muncha Enam. Hrita Sarvaswam. You have already taken everything from him. Na ayam arahati nigraham. So, uh, he does not deserve to be punished more. Please leave him. So, uh, when Lord Brahma saw that Prahlad Maharaj and Indiavali had already approached the Lord to ask Bali Maharaj, he joined them and recommended Bali Maharaj release from the grounds of, on the grounds of worldly calculations. Now you see uh, a very uh, interesting thing here. Brahma is generally approached by the demigods uh, for fulfilling their purpose. Uh, now Brahma, uh, is, uh, now the Lord is fulfilling the demigods purpose here of taking away all the material opulences from hmm, uh, Bali Maharaj and giving it uh, away to the demigods. But uh, interestingly though here, Brahma is pleading on behalf of Bali Maharaj here. So that is the beauty of devotional service. So the, the, the pure devotees like Prahlad Maharaj, Brahma, they are very, uh, very clear in their uh, thinking, in their thought process, who actually is worthy of mercy. So here they are actually pleading on behalf of Bali Maharaj. They appreciated the the uh, intent of Bali Maharaj and then he is uh, leading on his behalf. Krishna te nena, Krishna te nena datta bhur loka ka karma jitas chaye niveditam cha sarvasvam atma viklavaya atma viklavaya viklavaya dhya atma viklavaya dhya Atma Aviklavaya Dhyaya. Hmm. So he is saying, Krishna te anena datta. He has offered everything, Krishna, in totality. Anena. He, uh, he already, datta, bhur. You have, he has already given everything to you. Lokaha karma arjitaha chaye. Without hesitation, he offered his land, bhuhu the planets and whatever else uh, he has earned by what karma, his pious activities, nivedita, uh, he has given everything. Uh, 
Atma aviklavaya. Without any duplicity, without any contaminated thoughts, he has given dhya with his mind. And even his body, he has given you. Atma, he has given his body also. Yadpadayo, yadpadayo, asatadhi salilam pradaya, durvankuraira pibin vidhaya satim saparyam, apyuttamam gatimasau vajate tritokim, dasvan aviklava manaha kathamartham, kathamartim richet. He is saying, what is your personality? What is your nature? By offering even water, uh, uh, newly grown grass or, or flood, uh, flower buds at your lotus feet, those who maintain no mental duplicity can achieve the most exalted position within the spiritual world. Patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhaktya prayachati tadaham api bhakti upahrutam asnami prayatatmanaha you are saying give me flower uh, pushpa patram uh, a leaf uh, and uh, uh, a leaf a flower and uh, uh, a fruit or just water uh, with devotional service aviklava with pure heart then i will eat that i can eat the flower also i can eat the leaf also that's what you are saying but here this Bali Maharaja, Aviklava, uh, without duplicity, Daswan, he has given everything to you, uh, including the three worlds, uh, everything in the three worlds. How then can he deserve su suffer from arrest? Uh, so these people who give even love, uh, you know, who give even water, uh, some grass or flower at your lotus feet without duplicity. They can give highest, they can get highest uh, achievement in spiritual world. And here he is giving everything, including the three worlds, to you. Uh, so why does he deserve uh, from arrest? Katham uh, Artim Richard is saying. Yeah, Prabhupada quoted the same thing here. Yeah. Now, the Lord is going to speak. So, we will continue tomorrow. Any other questions, comments? Hare Krishna, Bhai. Hare Krishna. Oh, Bali Maharaj, why is also Mr. I think great devotee by Sim Sitsva, by his, uh, he said what he like that. Yeah, yes. Yes, she is a pure devotee also. Uh -huh. Yes, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Anything else? Okay. Randara Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Shalapapad ki jai.